Hello everyone, Matt Hoots here with Rate It Green and welcome to our green product review series. In today's episode, I'm going to talk to you about Huber. Huber is one of my favorite manufacturers out there. I've been using them for close to 20 years now, especially their Vantech product, and they also make a zip wall system for sheathing. Now this is for all of the plywood or the sheet goods that are, that are not studs or that are not the floor system on the house. Now we probably use this in probably 95 or more percent of our projects, especially if we're doing additions, if we need to repair subfloor or if we're building a whole new house. So the reason I get so excited about this product, and I know it's a piece of subfloor, or at least a section of a piece of subfloor, well this is 3 quarters inch thick, and um, it stays dimensionally stable. It's a nice piece of tongue and groove material. You can see you've got the tongue on one side, the groove on the other side. These snap together nicely, have a nice little expansion gap in there. So it's a good design, but that's not why I get so excited about this. The fact that this is water resistant is amazing. So I was sold on Advantech because I used a piece 10 years ago that I had accidentally left out on one of our projects, actually it was on my house, for over a year. Now I left it out there over a year, brought it in thinking that it was just going to be trashed. I realized it had not changed at all. Usually you expect a piece of OSB or a piece of plywood when it gets wet to expand. Um, well, just to show you that I'm not just making this story up, I've got my caliper here, and this is a piece of Advantech left over from one of my current job sites. I've left, left this piece out there for six months, and with this caliper, I'm showing that this is still three quarters of an inch thick. It started out as three quarters of an inch thick, and it's still three quarters of an inch thick. The fact that this is able to stay dimensionally stable and also not swell for over a year is pretty amazing. And the secret is it starts out as a large chunk and they compress it down and through that manufacturing process, it basically creates a um, product that is impenetrable to water and I believe it's rated to up to 400 days outside before it basically loses its exposure rating. So a 400 day exposure rating is pretty amazing. Earlier this year, I went to the International Builder Show in Las Vegas, and this was right before COVID-19 hit the United States. However, in that show, I was able to interview one of the Huber representatives, and here are some clips from that interview of them talking about the features and benefits of Advantech. Enjoy. Hello everyone, I'm here with Nick with Huber Engineered Woods and we've got a zip wall behind us. So he's going to tell us a little bit about what a zip system is. Alright, so let's talk about what started all this, the Advantech system, the subfloor system. So why is Advantech better than the other subfloors? Absolutely. So Advantech is basically an OSB that we decided to re-engineer and make, first of all, much more sturdy. Uh, so in bending stiffness and nail withdrawal, it's a very dense panel that isn't going to bend and is going to give you a stiff uh, subfloor. And then for water resistance, we use a different resin from typical OSB. So we use an MDI resin, which bonds differently with wood. It chemically bonds instead of just physically bonding, and that gives you some really great water resistive qualities. We actually have a 500 day no sand guarantee. So you can leave that floor exposed for 500 days, and if anything needs to be sanded or delaminated or uh, fixed, then you can uh, give us a call. So during construction, if they're framing and a storm comes through, that's not going to mess up the subfloor? Absolutely, yeah. That's the exact goal of it is if there's water on the floor, we've had people that have uh, water sit on the subfloor for three, four days, and they come back, sweep it off, or drill some holes for it to drain, and they have no issues with their subfloor. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, what about, can you use that as a, as a, for the, on the roofs as well? Absolutely. So all of our sheathing panels um, for Advantech, we have half inch, five eighths, and then the typical subfloors of 23, 30 seconds all the way up to inch and an eighth. All those products can also be used on roof. So once you get into the thicker three quarter uh, inch and an eighth products, we see that on flat roofs as well. Okay, so for the inch and an eighth, does that come with like a special texture or color on the inside or is that like the regular um, Advantech um, natural color? 
Yeah, so the inch and an eighth is still a natural color to Vantec. It'll be sanded on both sides. Really, the only difference is the thickness. It's extremely heavy and it's extremely stiff and the tongue and groove profile is a bit larger for that panel just to make sure that you still have that structural lock in between panels. Got it, so it sounds like that might be, maybe it'll span a little bit further if you have joists that are not 16 inches on center. Absolutely, so if you look at Tile Council of North America, that's a great example. Once you get to an inch and an eighth floor, you can actually place uh, ceramic and porcelain tile at 24 on center spans. Uh, and the Advantech panel is used a lot for that, for people that want to do 24 inch spans, but will have areas of the house where they're doing ceramic or porcelain tile. Got it, so is there anything else new that we need to know about in 2020 from, from Huber? Yeah, so one thing that's been growing a lot is also with Advantech, our subfloor adhesive. Uh, it comes as part of the system, and we actually have a 10 year squeak free warranty if you meet four requirements. If you use the Advantech panels and the Advantech subfloor adhesive, some type of engineered joist, whether it's an eye joist, an engineered uh, floor truss, or anything of that nature, and then a deformed shank fastener. So screws, scrails, or ring shank fasteners, as long as it's not a smooth shank nail, you'll get a 10-year squeak-free warranty. All right, so what, what, is, what is this chemical? Is it like liquid nail? Is it a foam? Like, what is it? It's an expanding polyurethane foam, and it's in a pressurized can. Uh, so essentially, you put the can on our gun, it comes out as a foam and then it kind of sinks into a gel as the air escapes those, uh, the foam itself. So it'll gel and then you have 20 minutes to put the panels on, screw them down or nail them down uh, and it'll slowly start to foam back up and fill all the space in between the subfloor and joist. So if there are any imperfections in the joist, it'll also fill that and it's a really good adherence to the panel. It's going to compound the strength of the panel with the eye joist. I know if it's too cold out, liquid nails tends to freeze up on you. Is there a temperature that you can't use this at? So you can use the subfloor adhesive down to 20 degrees. After that, it's moisture cured, so you can use it, but it won't cure uh, because there's not enough moisture in the air under 20 degrees to cause that curing. Okay, all right, thanks a lot for your time. Absolutely. Thanks again for watching this Rated Green product review. If you want to find out more about Hubert and their products, we've got a link in the description to their profile on the Rated Green website. Again, this is a free listing. This is um, for any product or manufacturer. So if you have one that you want to, want to be listed, or if you'd like to join the Rated Green network, there is no charge for that for you to join in on the green discussion. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, we've loaded up some um, videos off to the side. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give us a thumbs up and, on, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.